These religious fanatics are responsible for God knows how many deaths. He's a killer and I saw it. Honest to God. I don't want success. I don't want success. So who thinks that Clay might have been a little bit ticked off with Christianity as a whole by the time this one came out? Either that, or maybe he's just not happy with the Pope. Catholicism was the main source of Christianity at uh, the Inquisition period. Yeah. Circle of Dust, Brainchild. Clay, don't fucking remaster this album, really. Like, you're gonna fuck it up. Uh, I love you, man, but you raped the first album. <sighs> It's cool to have two masters, and that's what I thought from the beginning. But the more and more I listen to the stuff, the more and more I realize that the original master just sounds fucking perfect. I know I haven't heard the final album of, you know, Brainchild and the full remaster, but it's not going to do this. You should just add a ton of bonus content. You could change the artwork. I don't really give a fuck about that. But leave, leave the music the way it is. It's stood the test of time already. I mean, you're going to be pissed off because in 20 years, you're going to find out that people still listen to the original Circle mixes more than they listen to any of the remasters, and that'll include yours. Um, it's just life. So, Circle of Dust Brainchild is an industrial masterpiece, industrial music album, in case... People who don't know about it are just finding out about it right now through me ranting. I am Andrew Nathan Kite, and this is Plastic Music talking about that sick fucking record. The church imitated cannibalism. It's gonna take me like 10 fucking tries to like this. I'm actually supposed to be at an NA meeting right now. I'm bad. Don't let my probation officer find out. Actually, it really doesn't matter if she finds out because I'm not required for any amount of meetings, any certain days, just supposed to be two a week, which really doesn't matter. Just as long as I go to some before I report back the next time, because you know, the government doesn't mind me being on probation because they just want me to fuck up so they can find me more and take me back to court and make me a felon. But that's beyond the point. Um, enshrined. Damn, this cigarette sucked. It already went out. Whitewashed relics enshrined. The samples are what really make the album. The samples are used in a way that they make rhythms and change what the samples are saying through each time it says it by moving words around and um, making two unrelated samples with dialogue words with syntax that could be seen as going together, hooking them together so it sounds like different samples are having their own conversation. Uh, what was going on inside this guy's head? Whitewash relics it shrined. Um, I'll tell you. Uh, if I ever get the chance, I'll talk to him about it. This was my first exposure to Circle of Dust ever. My parents wanted my brothers and I to listen to all kinds of Christian music, so they got us on some kind of uh, book music club where they'd send you a catalog in the mail. And, um... Yeah, we, uh, the Columbia House, that's what they were called. And they had, uh, or they just picked up, uh, Red got distribution. And they were working with Columbia House. And albums like Circle of Dust, Stargirl, Park Misguided, uh, Brain Child, Leader Dogs for the Blind, Lemonade. Stuff like that was available. And, you know, we were reading this lame-ass christian shit it didn't sound exciting at all and then we'd read like industrial metal mavens songs like cranial tyrant or head screw or 
yeah, that just set you off. So we went and we bought it, and our folks were cool with it because they thought it was some kind of Christian music. We ended up getting the cassettes, throw them on downstairs in the basement, and we were like, what the fuck is this noise? It was really, really fucking cool. I felt like I had my virginity taken, in a sense raped. It felt really good. But that's how I became exposed with everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. They're all dead. Everybody's dead. Everybody's dead. Contact. Um, yeah, and it was a completely fucking, totally took it off the walls experience. I never heard anything like it. I didn't even know another radio station besides like oldies existed until like fifth grade. My brother got me these gloves. Apparently they're like Star Wars gloves. I like them because they have the fingers. Better to strangle you with. I can feel your pulse slowing better and your blood flow receding, not going through your veins. You don't actually believe any of this, do you? Course of ruin? Are you fucking kidding me? Descend, deviate, pale reflection, death of mankind. They love Blade Runner and Robocop. Clank's still suffering, loves Hellraiser. Yeah, Clay, I know where your fucking samples are from. Argyle Park likes Lawnmower Man. More particular, Misanthrope likes Lawnmower Man. But this is all besides the point. And I'm probably speaking Greek to a lot of you. But if that's the point, would you please just go home? Thank you, asshole. Get out of the way. If you haven't heard this record, you know, what are you waiting for? You shouldn't even be listening to me talk about it. You should have stopped me a while ago. Even though you could probably hear a little bit of it coming out of my headphones. But fuck that. Circle of Dust, Brainchild, probably the best record in their entire catalog. Um, I'm a little bit partial to it because like I said earlier, it was the first record that I heard from the band, so... That could have a little bit to do with it. But anyway, Andrew Nathan Kite, Plastic Music for a Plastic World.